What up, humans? My name is Flash Patel, and I am the host and co-founder of Health and Humanity. We wanted to kick off a new series called Basics of Medicine, specially designed for those in medical training. This is going to cover things that I wish people had told me before I went into medical school, during I went into medical school, and maybe even after I graduated medical school. Things that I had to learn on my own that hopefully I can advise you and hopefully you can use these skills to help master your education. So without further ado, I'm gonna get started. In this first episode, we are going to talk about how you can cl crush your clinical rotations. So I know a lot of you are about to step foot into onto the wards for the first time. It is a very nerve wracking experience. So I'm going to give you seven small pieces of advice that if you follow to the T, you will crush your clinical rotations. You will score that honors grade. All right. You just need to do these simple things. Number one, the number one rule is probably the most important. Never gun. For those of you that know what a gunner is, I'm sorry. For those of you that don't know what a gunner is, I'm jealous. A gunner is one of those people who will do anything at all costs to take anyone else out and make themselves appear to be better and smarter than they really are to the attending. Okay. These people will literally impede your learning. Okay. So that's why rule number one is to never gun yourself. Do not be a gunner. Nobody likes a gunner. Okay. The last thing is that attendings will eventually figure out in the long run who the gunners are and the gunners will never be rewarded for it. They never succeed in the long run. So just make sure that you are a collaborative learner. Learn with everyone. Learn by teaching others. Don't take others out because that is not the way to learn. All right. Number two is make sure you have confidence. Now, there's a difference between confidence and arrogance. OK, gunners tend to be more arrogant. Confidence is when you can say an answer and be confident that you're right. And if you're not right, that everything's going to be OK. The other thing is you are going to be put in situations where attendings are asking you questions, where attendings are pimping you, putting you on the spot. They're doing this to test your knowledge. Now, the reason they're doing this could come from many different areas, but mainly they already think you're smart and they just want to test your knowledge. So just know that they already think you're smart. All you need to do is answer the question. If you don't know the answer, this is rule number three. Be comfortable by saying you don't know. Be honest, okay? Never lie, never make up an answer. If you think you know the answer, sure, go ahead and say that, but never make it up, okay? Because if you make it up, you'll only look stupid, and if you lie, you'll be caught in your lies eventually, all right? So make sure you be honest. If you don't know the answer, it is okay to say you don't know. Number four, ask questions, okay? Be genuinely interested in what you're learning. All right. If there's something that you don't know, ask the question. Who cares if you think it's a stupid question? Because nine times out of 10, it's probably not a stupid question. And if it is a stupid question, then maybe don't ask the attending. Ask the students that are with you, because if the students that are with you are not gunners, they will give you the answer and they'll help you out because that's what good med students do. They help each other out. Number five, you need to minimize study resources, because although you may do well clinically, there are still exams that you need to pass not just pass, you need to score well on. So in order to do that, you need to minimize your study resources. How are you going to do that? People are going to give you all sorts of advice about use this for this rotation. Don't use this. Everyone is different. Everyone studies in a different way. Everyone uses different resources. With that said, figure out what you need soon. So the first two days in the clerkship, look at all the resources that people recommended you. Pick the one or two that you're going to use and stick with it and go through with that all the way through. OK, that is how you're going to succeed. The people that fail are the people that can't pick a resource or they keep bouncing between resources. So you need to pick your resource and make it minimal because there is no time to study when you're on the wards. All right. The last thing is you need to learn test taking skills. If you haven't already, make sure you figure out Make sure you do this by taking practice tests. All right. Figure out what works for you. Figure out if you need to read the questions first. Figure out if you need to read the stems. Figure out, you know, 
how you can manage your time because this is very important. You've probably learned from step one, step two, step three, you are going to be test on written exams for the rest of your life. And although I personally believe it's not the fair assessment of one's knowledge base, it is how the world works and that's what you need to learn to master, test taking skills. All right, the last thing is make sure you have fun. All right, this is very important. If you are not having fun on the wards, you are doing something wrong. I think I had fun about 50% of the time. So 50% of the time I was doing something wrong. Either I was being gunned down by gunners around me or I was just being abused by attendings. It doesn't matter. Make sure you have fun. If you're not having fun, ask yourself what's wrong and fix it. Okay, these are the simple steps that you need to follow. These seven rules. One, never gun. Two, be confident. Three, be honest. Four, ask questions. Five, minimize your study resources. Six, learn test taking skills. And number seven, have fun. With these, I hope you can cl crush. With these, I hope you can crush your clinical rotations. All right, my name is Flash Patel. And remember, forever and always be human. Subscribe to this channel if you enjoyed this video. Comment down below if you want to see other videos in the Basics of Medicine series that you have questions or maybe I can help answer. Feel free to shoot me a message. Whatever it is, be human. We'll see you next time.